In this experiment, we're going to be working with the drinking bird. So if you look here, we have just a regular cup of water and we have our drinking bird. Now, if you look carefully at the drinking bird's head, he's kind of got a velour-like substance that is wet. And if you look inside the drinking bird, you'll see a blue liquid. And I think it's mainly blue just so you can see it a little bit better. But if you watch the drinking bird, the liquid slowly rises up in his head. He tips over and drinks the water. And then, yeah, I'm gonna let you observe for a minute what's, what's happening with this. So now that you've observed a few cycles of the drinking bird, I'd like you to think about how it works. You know, what is happening within the drinking bird, you know, to make it, to make it act the way it does. So pause your video and think about that. And when you think you have it, uh, go ahead and play the video. Here's the explanation of the drinking bird. So as I mentioned at the beginning, his head is wet. And so because his head is wet, uh, the water evaporates on his head. Evaporation is a cooling process. And so what happens is as the water evaporates from his head, it cools off the air inside of the top part of his head. Well, as, the, as it cools off, that drops the temperature, giving a lower temperature up at the top and a higher temperature at the bottom. Well, because the temperature is lower at the top, the pressure is also lower according to Guy Lussac's law. And because of this, the low pressure allows the liquid to rise up in the tube, similar to you sucking on a straw. Uh, and as the water rises up in the tube due to the low, lower temperature and pressure, it gets to a point where enough, enough liquid rises up to make the head unbalanced and cause it to tip over and re-wet the head. And then the re-wetting of the head starts the, starts the cycle over again. Now what I'm gonna do is blow on the bird's head. Pause the video for just a second and hypothesize about what you think would happen if I blow on the head. What am I changing by blowing on it? Okay, let's check it out. And you can see by blowing on the bird's head, it increases the rate of evaporation, which speeds up the process.